привет! Hello! Welcome to Ask Tatiana videos. In these videos I answer your questions about difficult Russian grammar and vocabulary points. If you want to answer a question, please ask it in the comments and I will try to answer it. If you like my videos, audios and also my articles, please become Russian Dacha member, a Dachnik, support my website. Today we are going to continue the subject of the dates in Russian. What cases do we use with the dates? Last time we've seen the use of just uh, the date and the month. For example, мой день рождения 10 декабря. 10 декабря. The 10th of December. My birthday is on the 10th of December. So here we use the genitive. But imagine if we want to use months and a year. For example, I was born in December 1986, which is true. I was born in December 1986. So here we are going to use the prepositional for the month. Я родилась в декабре. В декабре prepositional prepositional. Он родился в августе. He was born in August. Она родилась в июле. She was born in July. So the month will be in prepositional. But then the year will be in genitive. And notice it's very important we will only change the last word of this year. For example, я Родилась в декабре 1986 года. So we only change шестой at the end. One more time. Я родилась в декабре 1986 года. Or you can just say 1986 года. Я родилась в декабре 1986 года. He was born in November 1962, for example. Он родился в ноябре, so we use the prepositional case, 1962 года. He was born in November 1962. 62 we only change the last второй, второго. How about 2000? It's a bit special. For example, she was born in August 2000. Она родилась в августе 2000 года. So, 2000 is just one word and we change it. Она родилась в августе 2000 года. So, I hope you understood it. Next time we are going to see how to use the dates with the date, the month and the year all together. I hope you liked it. Please ask your questions below. If you like my website and you want to support it, please uh, donate, buy my books and also become a Dutchnik, Russian Dutch club member. Пока-пока! До скорого!